Good morning, good morning. Happy Aloha Tuesday, everybody. Good morning. It's been a while. Good morning. I, you already know, I'm getting ready for work. Durr. Getting ready. How was everybody's Monday? Monday, Monday, Monday. My Monday was fan freaking tabulous, just in case you were wondering. I am, however, balancing on my knee. I took my little phone mount out and I forgot to put them back. That's okay. It's all right. It's all good. So how was everybody's Monday? You ready to tackle this Tuesday? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anywho, as I get ready, I got to tell you what happened last night. So... As you all know, oh, before I get ready, let me tell you what I'm getting ready with. I'm going to use Precious Topaz today. I love this color. She's like a good everyday color. She's not too dark, not too light, you know. Anywho, I'm going to use her and I decided I want to cover her with rose gloss today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, switch it up a bit. So, anywho, going back to yesterday. So, you know... Mondays are my hot hula Mondays. So, I call it makeup Mondays because on the weekends you probably like slacked and didn't really do much. Most people don't do too much on on the weekends, over the weekends, besides fun stuff and eating and all that other stuff. So, makeup Monday, had hot hula. So, I packed everything in the morning, pack on my pareos, the pareo that I want to wear, Extra pareos just in case somebody comes to class and doesn't have. I always keep extra. Pack my workout clothes, my shoes, socks, everything. Sweat belt, everything. Pack them. Throw them in my truck. Go to work. Go to the Y. So I, I get in the locker room and I'm now I'm pulling stuff out of my gym bag. Trying to get ready so I can go work out. I open up all my stuff in my gym bag. Okay, I can find my shorts, my tank top, socks, all that other stuff. Everything's there. Pareos, everything's there. Even my tablet was there. Charged. Yay for me. So, I'm digging through the bag. I'm like, son of a gun. Where the heck is my sports bra? Okay. So, I'm like, oh, frick. I cannot find my sports bra. Which... It would be okay, because I was wearing a bra, but it would be okay if I had a regular tank top or a racer back or something. I didn't. I had a muscle tee tank. So you know the muscle tees, the arm part is like big and open? No. Your girl is not going to go to class with one regular bra and one muscle tee. So I'm looking in my bag. So now I take everything out. I take everything out of my bag. Now I'm like digging piece by piece. Okay, there's my tablet. There's my stand. There's my extra socks. I have an extra pair of shorts. Like, my sports bra is not in there. Then I'm thinking, I know I grabbed it, but where is it? I don't know. I don't know where it fell out between home and wherever I went because I came to my regular job and then I went to the Y. So I don't know where the things stay. I still never find them. So I'm looking. I'm like, oh, crap. What am I going to do? So I start digging. And because I always have extra pareo, I'm like, oh, your girl going to have to rock them like one dress. So what I did was, rather than just using one pareo and using it as a dress, I folded up one pareo like I always do around my waist. And I folded another one up on the top like a freaking blouse. That's how I rocked my class last night. So if you're on my hot hula page, I did post a picture. Only junk thing is, I didn't get to go in a weight room and work out. Not because I, I wasn't going to, but by the time I figured out what I was going to do after I dug through everything, it was too late. I only had like 15 minutes for my class. I'm like, I'm not even going to waste my time. So, 
what I did was I had these weighted gloves. They're like, I think three pounds or something like, no, I think it's like a, a pound and a half or two pounds each. So I used that to teach my class. And boy, was it kicking my shoulders booty. Oh my goodness. But that was hilarious. So I taught my class last night in two pareos. Good thing the pareos went match. Mm -hmm. So I had on a yellow pareo as a skirt or as a regular pareo. And then I had like a shorter half pareo, like a reggae one, a Bob Marley one. That was my blouse. <laughs> and everybody, all of my members, they're so funny. They're like, oh, you look so nice. I said, what? They said, oh, you look so nice. I said, no, trust, honey. This is not intentional. Your sister forgot her sports bra. So good thing. Good thing my two pareos matched. Good morning. I had to teach my hot hula class yesterday in pareos because my sports bra fell out of my gym bag. I don't know where from home between somewhere, somewhere between home and God knows where. It could have been at the gas station because I put gas. It could have fell out. At my regular schmegler job. It could have fell out at the Y. I still never find them. So luckily your girl had like extra pareo. So I taught my class in two pareos. Which was hilarious. The members were all like. Oh you look so nice. I was like what? I said no this is not intentional. My sports bra fell out of my bag. And the tank top that I have. Because I was wearing a bra. The, but the tank top that I had was a sports, like a muscle tee. So I wasn't about to teach my class with those big open arms with a regular bra. No, that wasn't happening. So I did teach in two pareos, which was quite fun, I might add. Sister, if you want me to drop off your stuff, let me know. I can swing by your place today if you want. I'm wearing Precious Topaz today and Rose Gloss. Precious Topaz, how are you doing? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, now I'm just going to cover her with rose gloss. But that was an adventure yesterday. Oodles of fun. I did kick my class's booty in two pareos. That's not the first time I've done that. The last time I did that, I wore just one pareo and made it like into a dress. And even then they're like, you look so nice. I'm like... <laughs> No, she wasn't ready. Oh my goodness, I tell you. It's always an adventure with me. You don't know what's going to happen. How do I make my words bigger? Because your girl is blind. I can go over there as soon as I'm done with work. So either right after I'm done, which I usually get back there around like 4.45, 5 o'clock. Or I can come after I pick up my son because I'll usually go up and pick him up from the bus depot since he has to catch the bus home. I love Precious Topaz. You wearing it today? Take a picture. Tag me in it. Precious Topaz. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I'm wearing her today with rose gloss. I wore her the other day on the weekend with pearl gloss. I liked it. I love this color though. But I figured since I'm wearing red, I didn't want to rock like, I didn't want to be too red red and be one of those girls like, you know, people can be like, how's her all in red? Oh man, in my mind right now, you know what I'm, you know what I'm doing? Because you know me, my mind is music and movie quotes. Right now I'm hearing Eric Clapton sing Lady in Red. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. <gasps> Lady in red. Oh, good lord. Don't make me sing. Don't fun it. <laughs> His bus. Um... <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, his bus usually gets there around like five-ish. And then I can come back to your place if you want. His bus is up by the shopping center. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But too funny. I'm sorry for the terrible singing, by the way. 
kind of not. Re- I, I did that in class too. What was I singing? It was hilarious. We were cracking up last night. Oh my goodness. I miss your face, girl. <sighs> I have to show up to your class one day. I'm trying to get another job. That one will be in town though. So I need to try and take your, your class at your place before I get that other job. Because once I get that one, I won't be back up our place in time. Because I'll be stuck in traffic. Well, Because your girl needs more money and the more money is farther away from where we live, girl. In my case, anyway. Kind of funny. Any sugar daddies out there? I need a sugar daddy. <laughs> whatever oh my goodness so anywho uh, so do you guys have class every um every wednesday oh shoot she's leaving yeah so is she teaching tomorrow because she's going on her trip they're all going to socal i wish i was going but i'm not because your girl needs to make that money, honey. Mm-mm. So, I won't be going on the trip, but but I miss your face. And now I gotta go skedaddle in on in. I gotta mosey on into work. This morning, all morning, there's a song that's stuck in my head, but it's not like a song that you would hear on the radio. It's from a kid's cartoon. Let's see if you know what movie it's from. I've got a lovely pair of coconuts, steely dee, big one, small one, some as big as your head. Don't ask me why that song is stuck in my head. We were getting ready for, um, we were getting ready this morning, me and my son, and he was singing something, totally not that song. And then I started singing that song that I just sang. (laughs) And it's been stuck in my head all the way to work. Even with the reggae music playing and Hawaiian music playing on my radio, that song been stuck in my head. I've got a lovely pair of coconuts, diddly dee, big one, small one, some as big as your head. I'm sorry for the terrible singing again. Can't fun it. I, I, that's why I got to keep my day job because I cannot sing. <laughs> my goodness you don't know what movie that's from it's from a kids movie do, 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 do. it's from the lion king it's when the little bird zazu was in his little cage when scar took over the pride land and at first he was singing it's a small world <laughs> after all and then he sang the coconut song I don't know. I don't even know the rest of the words to that song. If that's really like an entire song. I only know that part. So that part is just continuously playing over and over and over on repeat in my head. Now that song might be stuck in your head. Or now all day long you're going to be thinking, shit, I got to go watch The Lion King. Because I don't remember that part. I don't know why I remember that. I always remember useless information. So you're welcome. Good morning, good morning, good morning, sister. (laughs) I wouldn't exactly say movie buff. I'm just, I don't know. My brain is like a, a sponge. Maybe not so much a sponge. Maybe like the floral, the green floral stuff that you put your flowers in. I'm more like that stuff. Not so much a sponge. More like that. Or like the water beads that just absorb water that look pretty in the light. I'm kind of like that. Not so much a sponge. (laughs) Because when I say the word sponge, I think of Spongebob. There we go. It's some more useless info for your behinds this morning. (laughs) And you, I got to get to work now. So this morning, I used Precious Topaz. I like her. She has a little bit of shimmer in her. Like a little bit of... Not metallic. She's more... Oh, I guess metallic. She's like... But not glitter. She's shimmer. Mm Mm-hmm. Shimmer, shrinky, dinky, dink. Shimmer, shrinky, do. That's not the words. I know. 
and I covered her with rose gloss. Now I'm ready for my day. Now you might have that coconut song stuck in your head. And now when you go home, you can tell your kids, let's watch Lion King tonight. And they're going to be like, what? Especially if your kids are teenagers like mine. Then they're going to be like, okay, whatever you say. But while you're watching the movie, they're going to be on their phones with their earphones in their ear. At least that's what my son usually does. Once in a while, he'll entertain me and watch along with me. But usually he'll be like, okay. And like be futting around on YouTube or something. On his phone or his computer. Kind of funny. Once they become teenagers, you're not cool anymore. You're just kind of goofy. They see you as just one big goofball. At least my kids do. They're like, oh my goodness. And I'm like, whatever. That's why I learn all their dances. Just to continuously make them cringe. So last night, I taught my class the Cupid Shuffle. That was our cool down song. Most of them knew it already. But for the ones that didn't, I told them, we're going to do this song because it's like graduation season. And I guarantee, Bob Barons, you're going to hear this song at your graduation parties that you're going to attend. So what I want you to do is we're going to learn this song. So when you're at that graduation party, I expect that all of you are going to get up and dance. And you guys are going to show all those little kids that you know how to do it. And you're going to show them how to do it the right way. <laughs> so now they don't only know the electric boogie. Because everybody knows the electric boogie. Now they can add the Cupid Shuffle to their little repertoire. Mm-hmm. They're welcome. <laughs> I do that out of love. That's purely out of love. Now I got to go skedaddle gun funny. I saw my co-worker's car pull up. And she's usually late. Which means I'm probably going to be late. But I love you guys. If you're out on the roads, throw some shakas. I love you guys. If you missed any of my videos or you like go back and go check them go to see what other mental things that I say. I'm on YouTube. I'm a big deal. Whatever. But you can find it on YouTube at Muscle Gloss Boss because this one will disappear. But I love you guys and I'll see you later. Have a good day.